how to turn any blog into a YouTube channel that optimizes and updates itself. What's up everybody? If you clicked on this video, it is your lucky day because in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you step by step how to turn any blog into a YouTube channel that updates itself, meaning every time you post a blog post or if it's somebody else's blog, if it's your company's blog, whatever it is, every time that blog gets updated, so does your YouTube channel with a video created by AI. It's gonna take you about 10 minutes to set up. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process right now, so let's get started. First things first, if you're new here, my name is James Jernigan. If you wanna learn more about me and what I do, you can go to my website, it's jamesjernigan.co, just my name, .co. You can scroll through here, see who I am and what I do. Obviously, I don't take myself too seriously. I like to have a lot of fun online, which is why I post crazy pictures like this. And uh, if you like what you see in this training here today, I actually have a free webinar, which you can sign up right here on my website. This is gonna show you exactly how I use this tool and a bunch of other ones to earn passive income online. That means I make money every single day, no matter what I do, because my content is working for me. And it's a lot easier to do that when you use robots, when you have automation, AI, working for you. So that's what we're gonna do. Here is my blog, Hustle Marketing. We won't waste any time. This is a place where um, I post all kinds of content. Generally, I try and post content that makes me money, right? Affiliate offers, links to my products, links to my services and stuff like that, right? So here's my blog. You can see I got a bunch of recent posts here, hundreds of posts on this blog, different categories. So what we're gonna be doing here is turning this into a YouTube channel. Here's a YouTube channel. The blog is called Hustle Marketing. The YouTube channel is called Hustle Marketing. Here we go, 36 subscribers. Not a lot, but this is just a recent project I started. And here you can see all of the AI videos that this bot has created and optimized and uploaded for me. So. If you wanna check out the tool, I'll link it right down below this video. If you're watching this somewhere where you don't see a link, just go to howtorank.com slash links. It's scrolling right down beneath this video so you can find it. And this is the button you want right here, AI Video Creation Bot. So let's get started. Here we are two minutes and 30 seconds into the video and we're gonna get started and do this right now. So what you're gonna do is click on campaigns. Well, actually the first thing you need to do is um, come here to where it says Google accounts and you're going to need to sync this to one of your Google accounts, the Google account where you're gonna be creating the YouTube channel for your videos. So before we go any further with this, I do wanna say when you're using automation, when you're using bots, you want to be careful. This type of stuff could potentially uh, get you penalized, get your channel taken down, get it banned. So with that said, I recommend starting with a new channel for this. Don't use your main channel if you're gonna be spamming and using bots. But I'm guessing since you're watching this video, it's something you're interested in, letting robots do the work for you. So that's the first step. Go ahead and add your Google account. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Um, but what you're gonna do here is click on campaigns. If we click on list campaigns, then we're gonna come click this button up here that says create a new campaign. So create a campaign, here we are, step one. Now the next thing you're going to need if you wanna turn up a blog into a YouTube channel that updates itself automatically is an RSS feed. So I'm gonna select this button that says RSS feed. We'll give this a name, we'll call it Hustle Marketing 2 since I already have one, since this is, this is a demo. Um, so we'll give our campaign a name, we'll select RSS feed. Now the next thing you need is an actual RSS feed. Some blogs, depending on what website builder you use or where you're, you're pulling the content, you can just Google RSS feed and grab any RSS feed. Um, I use this tool called RSS app. I think it's like five bucks a month. But basically what this lets you do is turn your blog into an RSS feed. So here you go, you can see the RSS feed and you can use this tool to create different widgets. So you can choose how you want it to look. You know, you can get an image board. There we go, you can get a list or a carousel. You get the idea, but that's not what we're gonna be doing here. All we need is the link to this blog. So we'll click back. Uh, let me grab the link here. So all we need to do is copy this link. And again, you can use any RSS feed. So I've copied the link to my RSS feed. We're coming back here into the video creation bot and we're going to click next step. So on the next step here, it's gonna ask us to paste in the RSS feed. So there we go, we've pasted it. 
Now we're going to click allow duplicates because we want one article to be used for more than one video. If you don't, then just uncheck that option. I'm going to leave it checked. And so here is where you can put filter words. If there's any words you do not want included in your video. So if you're doing marketing, you might not want political topics included in your video. So we might put Biden, we might put Trump, uh, you know, we might put, uh, if we want to stay away from sensitive topics, we might put like abortion, you know, anything you don't want coming up in your videos, that's where you'll put it in here. So murder, right? We don't want anything like that. We'll put our filter words in here. Now we're already moving on to step three, which is customize. So save and go to next step, All right? So pre-roll type, uh, pre-roll is just what plays at the beginning of your video. So what we can do here is add a video. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, it looks like we don't have any loaded. So um, you can preload videos in here. So if you want like an intro clip in your video, you just click add video. And so down here where it says custom assets, that's where you'll upload your custom assets. Um, so then you can select it so it only uses assets from your uh, custom uploads if you want, but I want to let it use AI. I want to let it pull content from uh, from a content library, so that's what we're going to do. So here is where you adjust the details of your video. So how many slides you want in each video. 15 to 20 is the preset, so we can scroll this down. You know, If we want less slides, we can go down to 10, or if we want more slides, we can raise this up. So we'll say that we want between 12 and 25 slides for video. That'll give us a nice uh, variation between the videos. So duration per slide. Um, 7 to 10 seconds is pretty long per slide. So what I'm going to do is take this down to 4 to 8 seconds. So each slide is 4 to 8 seconds long. We have 12 to 25 slides per video. So that means we're going to be creating videos that are 1 to 4 minutes in length. So here, look and feel, do we want to add animated text overlay on the video? Absolutely, because we want as much engagement as possible. So if somebody's watching it on mute, this is going to put the text right on the screen for them to read. So uh, it gives us a pre-roll timer. It uses a countdown timer. If you have a pre-roll video, we'll go ahead and disable that. Audio type. So you can select voiceover only, background music only, or voiceover with background music. So I'll select both. And here you can select exactly what kind of text to speech you want. They give you three options, Amazon, Google, or Microsoft. I think the Microsoft ones sound the best. So that's what I'm going to choose. You can uh, go ahead and listen to them and pick whichever one you like best. If you want, there's a sample button right here. It kind of disrupts the video when I use that. So I won't, but you can sample it if you want to. So then the outro text, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So you can edit this. So please subscribe and visit hustlemarketing.com. There we go. So now at the end of each and every video, it's going to tell people, hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So, uh, check out the blog, right? So then we can choose uh, what we want for the outro background. We can set an image if we want. So you could set you know, your own custom image with your information on there, or we can choose a color. I'll do that. So we'll set this to my brand color, which is, uh, so let's change. There we go. Hex. There we go. So I've set it to my brand color. I'll set the secondary color to white and save and go to next step. So here we are eight minutes into the video. We are almost done. I told you we'd be setting this up in 10 minutes and this is literally it. So distribution, this is where we want the videos to go. If we leave it as none, it's just going to save the videos here inside of our account and then we can download them and upload them and use them however we want. So I definitely recommend downloading them and you know repurposing these videos to Facebook and other stuff. But we're talking about YouTube right now. So we will do upload videos automatically. So channel upload control, this will let the system choose how many videos you upload per channel. This is useful to keep your channel safe from spam spamming. So that will let the tool automatically decide how many videos it uploads so that we don't get banned. Or we could do this and we could select, select this. Okay, we want five videos per day per channel, right? So you can sync this to more than one YouTube channel, but we're just doing one to keep things simple. So here we'll select channels. I'll select digital business guide, successful, right? Remember I told you you have to connect this under Google accounts. So we want five videos per day. Let's just turn this to, uh, we'll let the, we'll let the bot control it so that we hopefully don't get our content banned. Again, I don't recommend doing this with your main channel. I recommend starting a channel for automation, for experimentation, 
uh, to do this. So upload interval. This is how often you wanted to upload videos, right? If it's only going to do five a day, it's not going to be around the clock, but you still don't want all five of them showing up at once. So here we can set this for 120 minutes. That means it'll upload one video, then it'll wait two hours, then it'll upload another one, then it'll wait at least a minimum of this time interval before it uploads another one. So now we can set the tags. Now what's cool about this is these tags are going to show up on each and every one of these videos that uploads. So whatever your niche is is what you'll put in here for the tags like if you're a plumber you put plumber plumbing local plumber unclogged toilets that kind of stuff right but since i'm into marketing i'll put marketing digital marketing seo search engine optimization uh internet marketing and that kind of stuff right so we've got our tags in there now we're going to put a description so the first thing i want in the description is my website Please visit hustlemarketing.com. Whoops. There we go. So we have our website, and then uh, we can put some more information. My name is James Jernigan, and I show people how to make money online using robots. Right? And you can type as much. Uh, information as you want in there uh, for your description again this is going to be the description on each and every video that you upload so take your time make sure it's got the information you want now we've got our tags we've got our description for the videos so resource link you can select this if you don't want it to include a resource link but i do since this is my blog and it's posting videos and i want to drive traffic to my blog when someone finds the video i want a link to my blog in the description which is what i've put here just in case but this is the home page what this is going to do is include a link to the specific article that it created the video from which is very powerful both for human visitors finding your content as well as for seo for google knowing what your content is and where it is and how to find it and all that so we'll leave that we want the resource link thumbnails now this is cool auto yeah i will randomly pick an image from the video as a thumbnail or bucket you can upload your own, own thumbnails but i like to let the robots do as much work as possible so another thing i like to check is use templates they have templates that are uh, set up in such a way that it creates graphics that are very clickable which is what you want i actually don't uh, these most recent videos did not use that uh, let's see if i can find one um, it's going to look more like this when you select the that option you can see down here in these videos how this one has text uh, showing up that's very clear that's what the um, that's what that tool is going to do the uh, templates to enhance your thumbnail so we'll skip this we're not using SendLab um, again videos per day uh, since we checked automatic it's just going to automatically decide for us but if uh, you want to set it yourself that's where you'll change this number here so there we go automatically render you definitely want that checked because if you want it to upload the videos automatically if you want to check it if you don't want to get any weird stuff happening like remember I showed you uh, one of the videos earlier had a weird clip of a dentist at the beginning, right? If you want to avoid that kind of stuff, then you're going to want to not render them manually. So you can come in here and scroll through. But uh, if you're lazy like me and you just want to let it happen, and if you get a weird clip of a dentist, uh, who cares? Because at least somebody knows you exist now versus if they never found your video, they wouldn't know about your brand. So if you just don't really care, leave that checked campaign status. This is the last step. We are going to go ahead and activate the campaign so schedule start immediately or you know if you want to start this say you got a couple more things to do you don't want your videos coming out yet just select this and you can select okay we want to start it on saturday so now this campaign will start on saturday and that's it literally save the campaign and we are done here 13 minutes into this video and we are already done we've created a campaign that is going to upload videos five or ten of them every single day around the clock no matter what I'm doing all I have to do is upload my blog and the videos will update on my YouTube channel so I hope you found this helpful it's extremely powerful stuff if you know anything about uh, digital marketing these days you know that video is exploding uh, YouTube has been exploding for like 15 or 20 years now but now TikTok, another video content platform also exploding so what you need to know is people are watching videos and the beautiful thing about videos is if you optimize them to show up on the first page of search results, you can get traffic over and over and over and over again for work that you completed a long time ago, for work that took you 
in this case, five or 10 minutes, not five or 10 minutes to create one video, five or 10 minutes to create tens, 20, hundreds of videos that are going to optimize themselves, upload themselves and start bringing us traffic automatically, all from 10 minutes of work. You can get hundreds of videos, uh, bringing more visitors to your content so that you get found in search results, so you get found on social media, so you can start making money online doing whatever it is you do. If that's a local business, uh, if you ship products, if you sell digital products and services, if you do affiliate marketing like me, whatever it is that you do, I'm only guessing that if you had a robot uh, multiplying the content that you're putting out, I can only imagine you're going to find that helpful. So like I said, the tool is linked right down below this video if you want to check it out. I hope this helps. And if you want to learn more about this stuff, like I said, you could check out my website, jamesjernigan.co. And I have a 45 minute uh, to an hour long webinar that's free that explains exactly how I use this tool and other ones like it to get a ton of free traffic online and then turn that traffic.